In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the brand new block that was just added to Cadence Blocks Pro, which is the user info block. This new and unique block is the main cornerstone piece of information that you would need to create a beautiful and highly functional user dashboard for any type of website where you have people log in. So this would include membership websites, online course websites, and e-commerce websites sites. And here is what the output of the block is the way that I styled it. Uh, you can see we have the user avatar, we have the user's name, and also the date that they registered. Now I used it in this example and I threw together this page right here in just about five minutes. And this is meant to be a members dashboard. And it's actually based off of this one right here. This is a highly popular and active membership website and this is their members dashboard and so I modeled what I created after this. So I'll show you how to do this in just a few minutes. Now, the first thing you're gonna need is the most recent version of Cadence Blocks Pro. If you don't have a copy of Cadence Blocks Pro, I'll have a link in the video description down below in order to get it. Now, let me show you the page that I created. So I'm gonna go to pages and here is that page, it's called Members Dashboard, and I'll click on that right here, and you can see pretty much everything that I just showed you. This right here is the user info block that we just added. This is the list block, and these are for links to different parts of this membership website. This right here is just a row with four columns using the info box. Right here, I'll also show you how to do this. This is using the Cadence Blocks Pro post grid to create this layout. And if I had a little bit more time, I would add some additional calls to action and information here in this sidebar area here in the right. So first, let me show you the new user info block. You can click on the plus and start typing in user like that and it will pull right up user info and here is that block and it has been well thought out and there's lots of different options so first here on the right we have the container settings which will allow you to control the alignment and the spacing as well as apply a background color if that's the design that you're after you can also add some box shadow if you would like that next is the avatar settings and this is where you can enable or disable the avatar and you can control how large it is so if I wanted to make the avatar larger I could just increase it right here with this slider as well it's in a square format right now but I might want it to be round so I can just increase this the border radius and it immediately becomes round now for you creative types if you want to create a unique shape you can click click on this box right here and control the radius for each of the corners so if I wanted to make it a little round round on the top left and a little round on the bottom right. Now we have this unique shape right here. However, I'm going to go ahead and just stick with a circle since that's what I prefer. Uh, we can also put a border color around it. So I'll link it to this gold color. And then right here we can choose how thick to make it. So let me choose them all together as a group and I'll just make it three pixels. It's probably easier to see in this video at five. So you can see now we have the border on border, border color around the user's avatar. And we have all the spacing controls here. So if you wanna reduce the space between the avatar and this information, you can easily do that as well. Next, let's go to the name settings. And just like the avatar, you can enable or disable this if you don't want to show the user's name. Now, what's really nice is you could put a word before the name. So if I want to add the word welcome, simply add the word or the text that you'd like before the name and it instantly adds it right there to the layout of the block. You can also change the colors here, fonts, have full control over the design. Next, the registered settings. And like I said, this will show the date that the user registered and you can also control the text that appears before that date. So by default, we're showing joined on and this is a nice reminder of how long the user user's been a member of this site and you can change that text to whatever you want or you can even toggle it off entirely. Now I also wanted to show you how you can have a different layout for this user info box. 
If I go back into the container settings where it says content alignment, if I switch to centered, you can see we now have this centered layout, which would look gorgeous inside of a header call to action area at the top of a page. And you also have full mobile responsive options. So if you'd like to show it like this on a desktop, but on a mobile device, show it in this format. You can easily do that with our mobile responsive options. Next, I want to show you how we got our blog posts inside of this layout right here. This is also a new preset to the post grid block in Cadence Blocks Pro. This is very easy to implement. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the plus and I'll type post and here it is the post grid carousel. I'll choose that and here's the new preset style. When I click on it, it, it will immediately show it in this two column layout, but I'm going to change it to a one column. That's underneath layout settings and where it says columns, I will reduce this down to a one column. So we're most of the way there. Next, we need to adjust the image here. And this is the featured image in these posts. And you can see the featured image here probably isn't great for this layout, but we can work with that. So I'll scroll down to where it says image settings. And then right here where it says image ratio, I'll change it to a different ratio. How about three, two, which kind of already gets it more into a rectangle shape and then I will shrink the size so where it says image width I'll reduce this to something more to my liking and there we have it right there now all of the different elements that make up the post info here you can control if you want them to display or how you want them to display you have all those controls right down here and that's how easy it is to use the new user info block and the new layout in our grid post grid block in order to create this highly useful and functional members dashboard like i said i didn't design this it took me around five minutes to create using these new blocks. So keep a lookout on the new templates that we release because obviously we made these blocks this way for a reason. And you can expect some highly useful, professionally designed starter templates using these new blocks that we've created just for you. So let us know what you think of these new blocks or any other useful block ideas that you have for us in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed to the channel, click on subscribe and you'll be notified when we have new tutorial videos like this. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.